Other interesting political news, you have Tucker Carlson in Moscow subway versus New York subway going viral, to say the least. Now, Tucker Carlson being the GOAT, I would say, in pretty much every regard when it comes to news and reporting, he recently went to Russia to interview Vladimir Putin, and that was one of his most viral interviews, getting over 200 million views on X Twitter, and showed that a lot of Americans to see a perspective that we're not allowed to see on other outlets where they're censoring pretty much all Russian information, or rather, information that shows Russia in any neutral or positive light. Now, that, when he was over in Russia, he actually went on the subway, and you couldn't help but notice it was almost like a work of art, whereas subways in the United States, which are more often than not public entities or entities that are controlled by the government, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but they're all, what's the nice word, same dog crap. Mm, crumbling, de de decrepit, union run, they're garbage, basically. Usually um, filled with garbage, rats, people overdosing on drugs. And he goes to Russia, and they have works of art on the walls. Like, legit paintings and works of art. And, fascinatingly enough, no one's vandalizing them. It's all very clean. So a lot of people are starting to talk about the, cult, the stark culture contrast between a lot of cities in America versus cities in Russia. And it's not too long. It only got about three minutes long. But it did get 17.6 million views and 149,000 likes, which is some of the most likes he's got bar none. And those statistics were recorded actually 24 hours after his, or sorry, 48 hours after it was posted. So the numbers had time to brew, so to say. So I'll go ahead and without further ado, play that clip really quick. One of the ways you understand a society is through its infrastructure, the places where people gather, the places where they go to travel. If you've got a lot of people in one place, it tells you a lot about the people. So with that in mind, we're standing in front of the Kievskaya metro station and there's a train station next to it. Now the metro station was built by Joseph Stalin 70 years ago. And the question is, how's it doing now, after 70 years? So we went into it to take a look, and what we found shocked us. Now, that's not an endorsement of Stalin, who was bad, obviously, nor is it an endorsement of the current president, Vladimir Putin. You may not like him either. But it doesn't change the reality of what we saw, or more precisely, didn't see. There's no graffiti, there's no filth, there are no foul smells. There are no bums or drug addicts or rapists or people waiting to push you onto the train tracks and kill you. Which was a viral thing in the United States. Thugs pushing people into moving trains. And they passed away. And of course, the district attorneys in most of the cities did nothing. A lot of them actually let them walk. Scott Free, as some might say. No. It's perfectly clean and orderly. And how do you explain that? We're not even going to guess. That's not our job. We're only going to ask the question. And if your response is to shout at us slogans dumber than the slogans we used to call Soviet and mock, that's not really an answer. How does Russia, a country we're told is a gas station with nuclear weapons, have a subway station that normal people use to get to work and home every single day that's nicer than anything in our country? We're not going to get, we're not going to speculate. We're just going to raise the question and wait for someone in charge to give us an answer. What is the answer? So we'll stop the lecture and let you take a look for yourself at what the Kievskaya metro station in Moscow, Russia, looks like today, February 2024, in the middle of a war. Here it is. Yeah, that's pretty loud and it looks beautiful they have paintings as well as i think they're actually mosaics and they have gorgeous gold frames which again they have chandeliers again if you put a chandelier or a gold plate at anything united states urban uh, subways they'd be gone in a new york minute pun intended Let's see here going down more and more it looks breathtaking to say the least and of course as they say walk go tucker carlson.com to see the whole you know his whole experience of going around being a tourist uh tourist in russia <coughs> excuse me but yeah it's a stark contrast between subways in the united states or any public transport transportation in the united states to say the least and 
yeah, there are probably a myriad of reasons. I would say cultural in terms of the people, as well as the government entities, the United States and the Union. So there's many reasons why, I mean, public transportation is a joke. But let's have in the comments. Let's see what, what people have to say. Now, Paul Suzupa says, quote, Moscow cities are glorious. New York City subways are toilets. That says everything, unquote. That got 3.5 thousand likes. Now we have our favorite leftists, or in some way, I don't know he's leftist. Luke Zaliski chimes in again, and he says, quote, We went from no collusion to Putin is the leader of the free world and the Republican Party is seven years. Right-wing propaganda plus Elon, Trump, Tucker, and Russian defamation is the strongest mind-altering drug ever. Another couple of years and we will ha have all left as a country? Is all we have left as a country, I'm quoting 179 likes. Well, granted, it is Luke, so it's mostly mentally vacuous and moronic to say the least. But, again, why does it look so impeccably beautiful over there in terms of that subway? And again, it's not the whole country. There are certainly some areas that are probably are not as nice. But... I mean, have you, given, have you been to Chicago O'Hare Airport or the New York subway in the past decades? I mean, when was the last time you went in and it was clean, safe, nice environment? I don't know. Truth be told, maybe it was never that good to begin with. Now, the quartering says, quote, Well, Tucker, I heard those trains were always on time. I'm cooking 439 likes. One bad dude says, quote, quote, Fox made a huge mistake. And it's a endless line of people lining up to see Tucker Carlson and then the booth next to him is Fox News and there's no one tuning in, which is an apt metaphor considering how much the viewership has crashed ever since Tucker Carlson left. And Tucker, as an individual, granted, I'm sure he has employees, he has the Tucker Carlson network, it is a business, that gets more views and likes than Fox News any time of the day. Now, that got 4.9 thousand likes. Libercat Media TM says, quote, Beyond True, and is a picture of Put Putin, and the text is, Why would I attack America? You already have Democrats for that, unquote. They got 6.2 thousand likes, which is one of the top ones to say the least. Let's see here. Scrolling down, there's a lot of... Yeah, a lot of videos of people showing off other Russian subways, which are... Again, it is so foreign. It is clean. There's not bottles and garbage and trash on the ground. It's clean. People we also weigh half as much. One of those videos got 3.9 thousand likes. Let's see here. Z Van Fleet says, quote, Moscow subway stations are legendary. They deeply impress me, although not the Soviet propaganda art. But when I traveled to small towns outside Moscow and St. Petersburg, I saw the Russia that stuck in, in Soviet time. I was shocked seeing an, well, see, antique looking buses still in operation. In Russia, Moscow, and St. Petersburg, we are modern and well run but not small towns in America is totally the opposite. And we know why Unquote am 1.6 thousand likes. It's also a stark contrast between, you know, good old reliable vehicles when they're darn near bulletproof. It's fascinating to see how much that old tech still works and runs like a champ these days. Let's see here. Just rolling down, trying to find some contrarian statements. Uh... S.L. Canthon says, quote, Tucker Carlson, great job, and congrats for keeping an open mind. You should go to China. Here are some subways, metro stations in Shanghai, Beijing, and uh, Shenzhen, and more. And, well, China also has authoritarian, authoritarian state, and the people there are, well, culturally speaking, the people are quite different as well. They got 2.1 thousand likes. Marjorie Taylor Greene press release parody account says, quote, stay safe, Tucker. You don't want to get Hillaried, unquote. They got 2.2 thousand likes and is a reference to Hillary Clinton who having a abnormal statistics in terms of an improbable high amount of people who she knew and were not friendly with. They just they just all committed suicide, like statistically way too many than normal. Like we're not talking one or two. We're talking dozens. For the record, I should say out loud, I love life and attempt and I'm going to do my best to live it to the fullest for as long as possible. Just for the record. I mean, this is all allegations. I'm sure Hillary Clinton is. Honest as every politician out there. I will digress. Going down. Real Defender says, quote, bottom line, liberals are destroying American cities. I'm quoting 2.3 thousand likes, which, fascinatingly enough, Chicago has been run by Democrats for nearly 100 years. Now, truth be told, I'm trying to remember when was the last time the city was actually clean and safe. They'll be good next year, I'm told, just like the Chicago Bears. They'll be a good football, sports ball team next year. 
<laughs> I mean, statistically, no, but you know, perhaps the the most probably the most upside bet. What are the, what are the odds like on, in Las Vegas odds for betting on the sports balls team, the Chicago Bears? Can't help but think it'd be astronomical. Let's see here. A lot of pictures showing off all their subways in Russia where, again, they look immaculate. I'm trying to see if there's someone, again, as this is a political issue in many ways, I'm surprised there's not someone who, again, probably be more politically left who really hates Russia. I'm surprised there's no one having a video of, like, finding some trash out there or some decrepit part of the subway in Russia. I mean, again, I'm going through this and trying to see if there's anything like that. But no... Then someone actually has a picture of Bernie Sanders standing in Russia, getting 128 likes, saying that's exactly what Bernie Sanders used to do in terms of taking the train, I guess. Let's see here. American Partisan, well, this is mentally vacuous, he says, maybe Stalin wasn't that bad, unquote. I got 177 likes, and unfortunately, he has not read a history book, apparently. Or maybe he just can't. Maybe he tried to read the history book and he couldn't read. Again, he was Stalin was one of the most evil men in history. I, it's almost unfathomable to comprehend that statement made by the American partisan. Now, Chief Nerd said, "Quote, but do they have?" Fra <laughs> Chief Nerd again says, "But do they have the fragrant urine, urine odor of the New York City subways?" Quote, getting 934 likes. They also have people getting attacked on New York subways and going to jail for defending themselves and defending others. Let's see here. So as a youth might, and then of course you have a couple of pictures of St. Petersburg and the iconic buildings over there, which again, are, I mean, I have family members who are architects, so I grew up looking at all different types of architecture over the globe. It is some of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in picture. Let's see here. So yeah, it went viral to say the least. And again, I don't, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to inspire Americans to change culturally and be like, oh yeah, maybe we should not throw the trash on the ground like a mentally, morally vacuous piece of dirt. But... Yeah, it was interesting to see the political differences between state-run and government-run public entities, and uh, such as you know subway systems, and the way the public also treats those entities as well. And again, one of the most politically hot issues is Tucker actually going to Russia. So it'll be interesting to see, does this resonate with more people? Does the U.S. actually do anything to improve their infrastructure? I mean, now, again, I think the odds are probably akin to the odds that the Chicago Bears will win a sports ball Super Bowl. In the next 20 years. I mean, it's not zero, but probably 0 0.0000000017. Probably around that percentage. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in again. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February, so if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, sharing the video is a great way to assist me growing the audience and giving me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or just leaving a comment gives me some additional feedback on how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.